while a communication was being prepared in that regard for purposes of communicating on the floor of the house, two letters were served upon the office of the speaker. One from Honorable Senator Fatuma Dulo, and the second by Honorable Senator Abdul Hajj. Stating to the contrary, and yet they are members of Azimio. Now, the minority leader will bear me witness, having served as a judge of the Labor Court, that when two parties come before you, however weak one party may have his case, however weak that case will be, you give them a chance to speak to you as an arbiter, as a judge, and then retire to look at the weight of what has been submitted to you as a judge. That is the rule of natural justice. That is exactly what I did. Instead of communicating the letter from the minority side, having been served with a letter to the contrary, as your speaker, driven by fairness, I had to look at both letters, whether to dismiss, but that is after I have looked at those letters. And looking at those letters, I just needed a few days. In fact, two days. Unfortunately, the Thursday that I was supposed to make that communication, I was unwell. And on that Thursday, the communication was not ready. And I informed my deputy who was going to chair that particular day that kindly informed the House that the communication is not ready. If it was ready, the deputy speaker would have read it out. Because when he occupies this seat, he exercises the powers of a speaker. Now, the next immediate day that we would have possibly communicated was Tuesday. By Monday, the communication was ready, and the Secretariat is here to confirm that. It was ready to be communicated on Tuesday at the rise of the House, um, I mean, at the opening of the House. Immediately after administration, the chair was going to communicate as per what the minority had written to us after having considered the letter by the minority leader and the letter by the two senators. Unfortunately, on that Tuesday, at about 1 p.m., the office of the speaker was served with a court order from the tribunal. I was made aware where I was, and after considering we had to seek for legal advice. And honorable senators, I'm not just a speaker, I'm also a lawyer. I'm an officer of the court, just like Sifuna, Mazayo, Mogeni, Maanzo, Mungatana senator. And I'm not just an officer, I'm not just a speaker. I'm also lucky to have gone to the, one of the best schools that are celebrated in this country, the Alliance High School. So I do not suffer from intellectual deficiency when it comes to these matters. That communication was to be made on Tuesday at 2.30. At 1, we were served with a court order from the political party's tribunal. We had two options to assume we're a monster and ignore the court order or become an institution that is governed by the rule of law and obey the court order. A communication was made in that regard and it was delivered here by the deputy speaker. The deputy speaker ruled that he was unable to read the communication that had earlier been prepared. In fact, if you look, if you go to the Hansard, 
these are the words that the deputy speaker said that the communication that was in fact ready for communication so at the time I was occupying this chair the deputy speaker knew he had a copy but the only thing that made him not communicate was the fact that he was stopped by an order from the political parties tribunal so a ruling a substantive ruling on why that communication was not made was actually communicated to this house so honorable senators you cannot come back to me today and beg me to make a communication because a communication was already communicated to the effect that we could not deliver that communication of changes of the minority side pursuant to a, no order that had been served upon us from the political parties tribunal that is the ruling and it's a ruling i'm not willing to disturb neither am i do i have those powers to review now senator sifuna you have used gormahia and fc the mashemeji dabi that is gormahia wants to substitute it should never be a concern of the referee the person who stopped the communication in fact is not the referee it is not the speaker because in this patch the speaker is the referee the person who stopped that communication is the tribunal not the speaker and as such my hands are tied and the reason why I was talking about consistency as a major theme in our lives is what I've witnessed. On the day that the deputy speaker was delivering his ruling, immediately after he delivered that ruling to the effect that his hands are tied by the order from the tribunal, a number of senators rose on point of orders, on points of order, notably Senator Sifuna. And he was very elaborate in his point of order. That if you read that order, it's very clear that the position that is being contested and has been stayed by that court order is the position of the deputy of the minority whip. But as far as the position of the deputy minority whip is concerned, that has not been stayed by the court order. And Senator Sifuna invited the chair to rule as such. On the following day, pursuant to a request and persuasion of Senator Sifuna and others, a communication was made. Which communication agreed in totality with what Senator Sifuna had submitted the previous day. And the chair rose here to make the communication. The communication aborted prematurely because there was anarchy and disorder from the very same people who are insisting that please delink those two. Give us the position of the deputy chief whip will await and abide by the outcome of the tribunal. While agreeing with the senators who rose on the point of order in, in that respect, he was heckled. The deputy speaker was heckled. That communication was not completed. Now, when I walked into my office today, Again, I'm talking about consistency. When I walked into my office today, I see a letter from the majority leader, from the minority leader, dated the 23rd of February, 2023. Now, allow me to read this letter. Because this is the latest communication to me from the minority leader. It goes 
as follows to the speaker senate narobi dear speaker changes in the representation of names in leadership by the minority side kindly note that as agreed pending the hearing and determination of the matter relating to the changes in the minority side of leadership be notified that both the minority whip and the deputy minority whip positions status be maintained until the matter is heard and finally determined subsequently any changes to be effected shall be simultaneously shall simultaneously uh, to allow smooth transfer of leadership positions the current deputy minority whip senator ledama olekina retains his position until changes are effected and only upon assent to the new position of minority whip will we relinquish his current position signed senator justice retired sm mazayo cbs mp honestly senators why the consistency here the latest position from the minority side is please do nothing until the case at the tribunal is determined what am i seeing today what are we hearing today honorable senators i'm willing as your senator to guide you accordingly to be as fair and just as i can when this together i'm not here for the government side neither am i here for the opposition side i'm here for the institution called the senate let us uphold the dignity of this institution this being the 